address the crowd. I think I am having a panic attack. Ah, that's the realistic depiction of a panic attack in an animated movie I've been hearing so much about. And now for our feature presentation. Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken, was on my list for summer movies I'm not excited for. So many better movies are coming out. Barbie's coming out! Let's go! Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken, is about Ruby Gilman, a teenager who learns that she comes from our royalty line of underwater Kraken. Now she must balance her teenage life and Kraken life. Everyone has been saying DreamWorks is in its comeback era. The Bad Guys was really good with animation that feels like a perfect mix of 2D and 3D. Then there was Puss in Boots The Last Wish, one of the best DreamWorks movies ever made with deep meanings about life and death. So does Ruby Gilman continue the streak of DreamWorks comeback era? Well, not really. DreamWorks has been testing the waters with new animation styles. On the outside, this one looks like another DreamWorks movie, but the biggest standout for the animation this time is its character designs. Honestly, from the trailers, they do look kind of weird. I mean, look at this guy. L look at this guy. But they have charm to the designs, especially Ruby's family. Since they're water creatures, they don't have spines, meaning the animators have gotten a lot of leverage out of using squish and stretch animation for Ruby and her family. Whenever they move, they have a lot of bounce and bend to it, and it's all really charming and fun. Fun. The movie is also blasting with color, so that helps compensate for some of the weird design. The underwater world looks bland though, and they play this majestical music as Ruby traverses through the underwater for the first time, and visually it's not that impressive at all. Literally she saw a few lights and a couple of whales, but power to her for being mesmerized I guess. Ruby Gilman herself is a likable protagonist, in fact everyone is serviceable in this movie, the voice acting is fine and the characters are just fine. The plot, however, is kind of cliche. I wasn't expecting big plot subversions like The Last Wish. In fact, I don't think it's fair to compare this to that movie, but the clicheness and lack of subversion makes this film forgettable in a lot of aspects outside the unique character animation. You'll see that there's the plot twist villain that you can see miles away. There's the shy girl that'll probably win the guy at the end of the day. It's all here, but if you're looking for some subversions, you won't find that here. The bright side to this though is this movie is extremely fast paced, making this an easy watch and exceptionally breezy. I would go as far as to say it's one of DreamWorks' most quickest movies. You'll be in and out like that, so it was a nice quick watch. The dialogue in the trailer really scared me away at first. It sounds like Christopher Walken high school dialogue. How do you do, fellow kids? Anything for my algebra? <laughs> You're what now? I mean, bro! <laughs> algebra! Love you so much! Love you too, Rando! But the movie is nowhere near as bad in the dialogue department like the trailers made it out to be. And unfortunately, there's not that much to say about Ruby Gilman. It's just a serviceable kids movie. It's better than the other mermaid movie this year. However, if you're looking for that new spice streamer that's been putting in their movies, you'll probably be disappointed. <laughs>